Emergency crews pour water on the engine of a Qantas Airbus 380 at Singapore's airport. A closer look shows part of one engine ripped away. It blew out just 15 minutes after the super jumbo took off from Singapore. We felt this just loud thud. Um, you know, everybody sort of is pretty shaken by it, so you can imagine how, how pretty full on it was. Yeah, I just heard a massive bang. It's like a shotgun going off, like a big bad, like a, a big bad gun. Like part of the skin had peeled off, so we could see like the foam underneath. We could see some broken wires sticking out. Passengers say the pilot immediately acknowledged that there was a problem. The plane carrying 459 people dumped fuel, then returned to Singapore 90 minutes after takeoff. Well, that was a bit bumpy because the aircraft's slowing down, so it's it's unstable, so more unstable. But because of the damage as well, it just made things a little bit more exciting on the way down. Some damage was also visible on the wing. On the Indonesian island of Batam, residents and officials picked up more than 100 pieces of debris. At least one large piece of metal bore the distinctive red and white Qantas markings. This man says he heard an explosion overhead, then saw smoke coming out of the plane, which was wobbling. Officials in Indonesia discounted a possible link to volcanic eruptions of Mount Merapi about 800 miles away. The Sydney-bound plane is one of six A380s owned by the Australian airline, which has not had a fatal crash since beginning jet service. We would suspend those A380 services until we are completely confident that Qantas safe requirements have been met. Experts said the problem appeared to be an uncontained engine failure, which occurs when turbine debris punctures the engine casing and the light cowling that covers the unit. They say that wouldn't cause the plane to fall out of the sky. 37 A380s, the largest passenger plane, are in service worldwide. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.